It's our big story at 10. Struck down a federal judge ruling Wisconsin's voter ID law unconstitutional. A law that would have required voters to show state issued photo identification at the polls. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 10 tonight with reaction. Stacey, a federal judge says a law requiring state issued photo ID imposes an unfair burden on poor and minority voters and says. Voter fraud is non existent in Wisconsin. Today's ruling, though, coming as no surprise to both sides. It's just wrong. The voter ID law, already blocked once by a state judge, blocked again today by a federal judge. Good news for Julie Arneth of the League of Women Voters. Disenfranchise certain segment of the voting population. She agrees with the judge's ruling saying the law would prevent about 300,000 Wisconsinites from voting who are less likely to have photo IDs or the documents needed. Republicans disagree. I do think it's important that people have IDs and that we have more certainty at the polling place. State Senator Robert Cole says state leaders will hold a special legislative session possibly this summer to make the law constitutional, trying to prevent voter impersonation, which the judge says doesn't exist in the Badger State. Why would they be doing this? It's not about fraud. It's never been about fraud. It's about suppressing the vote. And if that's the case, how will this affect the upcoming election? The Republicans have a little more to lose in this decision, but it's not clear to me it would be a big difference one way or the other. But one thing is clear. It is unlikely voter ID will be in place this fall. Now, Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen says he is disappointed by the ruling and plans to appeal. Alex Hagan, NBC 26. A spokesperson for Governor Walker says he believes the law is constitutional and is reviewing the decision for potential action.